to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. I'm Jesslyn, and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. In this video, I will be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of body system. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free, clicking a link in the description box below. So let's get started. Question 8. The diagram below shows the materials that move out of the small intestine into the blood and into the large intestine. What materials do A and B represent in the diagrams above? In this diagram, we have the small intestine and the large intestine. These two organs are part of which system in our body? They are part of our digestive system. So, the focus of this question here is about the digestive system. Let's first talk about the small intestine. Can you recall what are the two processes that take place in the small intestine? The first process is digestion. So, what is digestion? Digestion is the process where food is broken down into simpler substances. And how will the small intestine carry out digestion? The small intestine has to release what kind of juices? The small intestine has to release digestive juices. And after the small intestine carries out digestion, what kind of food do we have now? We have digested food. And the digested food will be absorbed through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. And this other process is known as absorption. Now, back to the diagram. Which arrow here, A or B, represents absorption of digested food through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream? It is arrow A. So over here, material A must be digested food. Now, earlier on, we said that digestion takes place in the small intestine. Is all the food digested in the small intestine? No! there would be some undigested food left. And where would this undigested food move to? The undigested food would move from the small intestine into the next organ, which is the large intestine. So, over here, material B represents undigested food. Now, let's recall, what is the process that takes place in the large intestine? It is absorption. But what does the large intestine absorb? It absorbs two materials from the undigested food. What are these two materials? They are water and mineral salts into the bloodstream. So over here, if I were to draw another arrow, C, pointing from the large intestine to the bloodstream, what would C represent? Material C would represent water and mineral salts. Now, to wrap up this question, since we know that material A represents digested food and material B represents undigested food, the answer to this question is option number 2. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!